you always have a problem where people don't really know what race you are because of your yep. face. Yep. And my I, doesn't not, help. Not, not only do they not know what race he is, they do this odd thing where they will stop him in public and guess. Mm-hmm. Like people that don't know him. <laughs> the best example I can think about that was Gus is going to the bathroom walking past the pool table. The guy playing pool stops, points at Gus's face, and goes, hey, hey. Black and Korean. And Gus goes, not even close. <laughs> I was like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> What's for 100% certain in this life? Death and Texas. Yes. The great state of Texas. Even when the earth ends, it will attach rockets to itself and blast <laughs> off into space. <laughs> like, I, I've never been a big Superman fanboy just because his greatest weakness is kryptonite. That's not Everyone interesting. That. That's a rock. It's like comparison. saying your greatest weakness is uranium. That's not interesting. It's a rock. But no, an interesting weakness <laughs> is something to me that's like really personal, that has a lot of emotion behind it. Like, like a rock like, from his home planet that has a lot of emotion like, behind it? His planet that exploded? Yeah, and but it's not like, died. it's not, when Lex Luthor comes up to him with kryptonite, he doesn't go, ah, oh, my parents! No, he goes, ah, kryptonite. Uh, it does cancer. seem weird that Superman is allergic to rocks from his own planet. He would have been like the biggest wimp in the world <laughs> on his own planet. I'm well, sure you're pretty allergic to the core of the Earth if it hit you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> but if somebody stood about 20 well, feet away with it, I wouldn't be like, Ugh.